Good afternoon, and uh, this is uh, Dr. Zan's time again. Today, I would like to discuss about obesity and uh, fertility. So, as you may know, obesity is uh, overweight is a, a very common uh, phenomenon in our society. By the way, first let's make a definition. Uh, what is overweight and what is obesity. So, by calculate your weight according to your height, we can work out an index, it's called a BMI, Body Mass Index. So if body mass index less than 30, it's called overweight. Above 30 means obese. And in a very rough estimation, 30% of our population are is overweight or obese. And uh, it's due to three reasons, lifestyle, diet, and the genetics. And it's very common for the ladies with obesity to show low fertility and a slight increase of miscarriage. While the mechanisms contributing to this phenomenon is not very well defined, but the general believing is that obesity causes imbalance of the hormonal environment in the body, which affects the egg production, the quality of the egg, and endometrial environment, which is important for the embryo to be implanted. In our study, clearly show that in the group of patients who are undergoing IVF treatment, the patient with increased body mass have a low chance to get pregnant. Now, it's very interesting. In this group of patients, when they were treated with very low dose of medicine for the purpose of produce more eggs, they tend to make a better quality eggs and have better pregnancy rate. So that indicated that for the ladies with overweight or obesity phenomena, they tend to better have better chance to get pregnant if they are going through IVF with less medications. Again, this is a very interesting <coughs> findings and more studies are needed to know the mechanism. But what's the best protocol for the lady undergoing in vitro fertilization with obesity? Our protocol recommends a couple of things. First of all, lifestyle, lifestyle change, meaning that you eat 30% less of what you are eating. The Proportion of the food, of what do you eat, is not so critical. We know in the many studies, emphasize you should eat more protein and uh, less carbohydrates and low fat or no fat. But in reality, as long as your total food consumption is reduced thirty percent, and what kind of combination of the food is not so important. Number one, so diet control. Number two, exercise. And we recommend that you should, to, for the losing weight purpose, should have uh, exercise at least four or five days per week and at least 30 minutes each session. It doesn't matter if you are doing cardio, weights, jogging, swimming, as long as you increase your heart rates at least 40% above your base weight. So your base heart rate is a 60% and you will keep your heart rate above 100. And these two should show significant results within months. You should lose in 5 to 10% of weight with absolutely no problem. So this is the first line of treatment. Second, we found that with the obese patient, as I mentioned earlier, to stimulate the ovary to making a few more eggs, the heavy daily ingestion is not the answer. The best protocol is taking chromid, latrozole pills, 
to stimulate your own hormone production or we call it endogenous hormone production to boost egg production and with a very little help with some injections and it appears to make better quality eggs in terms of improve the pregnancy weight. Thirdly, by reducing the weight, it also improves the chance to reach to the live birth and reduce the miscarriage. So this is a, the general information we would like to share about obesity and fertility. And if you have more questions, please check our website. We have a special session which discuss more about obesity and fertility. Thank you. Bye.